just got this award from ClickFunnels. As you can see, it's membership in what they call the Two Comma Club uh, for making over $1 million with ClickFunnels. It's awarded to Brandon King Keto Carter. That's my Instagram, King Keto. And my company, Grow Laboratory, did over a million dollars on just this platform in 2017. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I built my multi-million dollar fitness business. And hopefully you can take my story and apply it to your life so you can build your own multi-million dollar online fitness business. Let's go. Now, before I start, we got this work on ClickFunnels. It's just a platform where you can make sales pages and, and, and sales funnels uh, for people to buy our supplements and our workout programs. But we use other platforms too, like we've done way more than a million dollars in our account, Shopify and new pages and all the other platforms. We've done well over that uh, in this video I'm gonna show you how. And I know a lot of you guys wanna start or build your own multi-million dollar online fitness businesses or any other kind of online business. I know a lot of you guys wanna do that. So the question I have is why hasn't it happened yet? You probably tried a lot of stuff, you probably bought courses, went to events, uh, you probably put in a lot of the work already. So why hasn't it happened yet? Why haven't you started? Or if you have started, how come you're not getting the results that you want? I'm gonna tell you why you haven't got the results in this video, because I used to be in the same boat. Man. I used to be just like you. In fact, my situation is probably a lot worse than yours. It started uh, when my father shot himself in the head. It was the middle of the day. I was in New York, in Manhattan, in the middle of the summer, hot day, and I got off the subway. And when I got out the subway, I looked at my phone. There was a bunch of missed calls from my sister and, and uh, tons of text messages telling me to call her. She wanted me to call her right away. She said something happened to, to my father. And then when I called her, uh, she gave me the news, man. She told me that my father uh, was missing and that he left a suicide note. And I didn't believe it. I wasn't trying to believe that at first. You know, I had just talked to him the night before. I thought everything was cool. He was my, my best friend. You know, I, I thought I knew him better than it. it didn't seem like anything he would do. So I didn't have a lot of money. So I spent the last of my money, the last dollars I had in my bank account to get a ticket straight to Chicago where I'm from. And as soon as I got there, you know, uh, my, my mom was crying and you know, I wasn't trying to believe that this had happened. I wasn't trying to believe that he was gone. I thought this must be just something else is going on. It can't be reality. And then the next day, I, I get a knock on the door. It was the Chicago Police Department. And uh, they asked me and my mother to sit down. They told me that they found my father. It was a... Uh, Found him in a hotel, like just a few blocks from my house, uh, with a bullet in it. You know, my mom immediately fell to the ground, started crying. You know, uh, the cops kind of looked at me and said, "I'm sorry," and left. And just like that, my whole life had changed. You know, I knew nothing would be the same, and I felt devastated. I felt hopeless. You know, and my father was one I depended on my whole life. He was my best friend. You know. I, I was, I was angry, I was uh, confused, I was sad. But most of all, I felt this huge weight on my shoulder. Because now I'm the man of the family. But like I said, I had just spent my last money. I was literally had no money. I just spent my, the last of my money to get to Chicago. Now I'm broke. I have like zero money in, in the bank account, zero money in my pocket. And I'm the man of the house now. I have to take care of my family now. I have to take care of my mother, my mother, my siblings, my nephews, and, and now myself. Because I had depended on my father my whole life. And I was thrust in this position. After we took care of my father's funeral arrangements and, and buried him, uh, I was able to hustle up enough money to get back to New York, where I lived at the time. And I immediately started crying. I had been a personal trainer for years at that point. So I started taking on as many clients as I can take. And I also went and got two other, I got a job working for my friend's moving company. And I got a job managing a friend of mine's restaurant on the weekends. So I'm working three jobs, really seven days a week, and as many hours a day as I can get, as many hours I can work. And what I realized was that hard work really just wasn't enough for me to make the money that I needed to, to support my, my family. And, and myself to dig us out of this hole that we found ourselves in. And I was really frustrated. I, I felt like, you know, just giving up. I was exhausted. I was burnt out. This went on for months. Then I had an epiphany. 
I realized that I was working harder, but I wasn't working smarter. You see, I filled up my schedule with work, but I was still exchanging time for money, right? And there's only so many hours in the day, so my income was capped because I was working for an hourly wage. That's when I realized for me to take my income to the next step, I needed to find a way to stop exchanging time for money. I had to find a way to give people something they found valuable enough to exchange for currency, but without me having to give my time to deliver that. And the only way to do that was to take my personal training online and start an online fitness business. Now, I wasn't sure what product or service I was gonna offer, so I developed two products that I could sell to people online. One was a digital workout plan. It was like an ebook that came with some videos and stuff. It was, it was a little training workout course. And the other was my first supplement, T-Rex Extreme Fat Burner. Um, I, I came up with this supplement because I was taking a different fat burner that you can get from GNC, and it was it caused my blood pressure to just go up. So I wanted to come up with a 100% natural alternative, right? And after being, because I've been a certified personal trainer and nutritionist for a long time, I knew what ingredients I wanted in the products, and I also worked with a laboratory to help me really get the formulation down, and it was perfect, right? But this cost a lot of money. This cost a lot of money to produce. So I just kept grinding, kept exchanging time for money, and saving as much as I can till I, I saved up like thousands and thousands of dollars in order to put this together. Now I have two products, the fat burner and the workout course. And later in this video, I'll show you how you can put together your own products, whether it's supplements or uh, digital courses. Now I have the products, they're sitting in my living room, you know, like boxes and boxes uh, of these fat burners. And I got the course online, but nobody's buying it, right? Cause I spent all my money, I didn't have any way to market it. But what I did have was a flip camera. It was these old cameras, you can't even buy them no more. They cost like $150. They were like pocket cameras. This was before iPhone and all this stuff. Uh, they were like the first pocket sized digital cameras. And they just came out with an HD version, which was a big deal at the time. And so I thought if I can put these videos on YouTube, maybe I'll get some traffic. Maybe people will watch them and maybe a certain percentage of those people will actually start to make purchases. Right. So I started making these YouTube videos and I would I would mind you, I was working three jobs at the time. OK, so every so I work all day, like 12, 14 hour days, seven days a week. And then I would come home and try to film some workout videos. Most of them were in my, my house. Right. Because I couldn't even afford a gym membership at the time. Most of them were in my house. And, you know, I would spend time editing them. I had to teach myself how to edit videos. And then I would, I spent all these time on this. I spent all this time on these videos, and I uploaded them to YouTube, expecting unanimous praise. I worked so hard on them. Guess what? Nothing. I would get less than a hundred views, and fifty percent of the comments were just uh, racial slurs, right? So I was I was frustrated, and this, and this went on for a while until I realized the secret to building a huge audience on social media, all right? And the secret was to actually help people. See, my first videos, they were kind of just me trying to be showing off how cool I was and, and you know, how ripped I was. And that doesn't work. What I had to do was actually help people in the videos, like give away my content for free. Kind of like what I'm doing right now. I'm giving you the blueprint of how I built my million dollar fitness business for free, right? And what, what happened was then people started to watch my videos. I started to build a fan base. Now my YouTube page has over 100 million views total. My Facebook page really exploded. I have over 1.5 million fans on Facebook. And all my other social media networks are pretty high too. And what that gives me is actually like leverage, right? So what I would do is I was actually helping people in the videos and then a certain percentage of them would actually want more help and then the people who wanted more help would end up buying the supplements right you know or they would end up buying uh, my, my workout course because they wanted to take it at their own pace and and that's when i started to have some success still some success it wasn't enough for me to quit my job though it was just an extra few thousand dollars a month which is good though which is good you know i'm sure you'd like a few uh thousand dollars a month but i wanted millions man if i'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it all the way. I'm gonna play to win. So uh, during that time, when my during that time, when I was first starting to get you know traction online, I became friends 
with a guy named uh, Elliot Hulse. You may have heard of him. Uh, Elliot Hulse, he, at the time, he had just hit a million subscribers on YouTube, and I thought that was just the craziest thing in the world. I, I just, I couldn't believe it. And I guess he had seen my YouTube videos before, and one day I just look on my Instagram, and Elliot Hulse followed me on Instagram. I'm like, oh, the real Elliot Hulse? No way. No way. At this time, I still had under 100,000 YouTube subscribers and my Facebook wasn't as big then. It was kind of like when I was just starting to get traction. And and I, I figured I'd slide in this DM, right? And I'd say, hey, congratulations on hitting uh, a million subscribers. If you're ever in New York, I'll buy you one of your favorite cigars because I know you like cigars and you know I, I smoke cigars from time to time. And as fate would have it, he was actually going to be in New York for a wedding uh, the following month. So Elliot Kehos came to New York. Uh, he stopped by. Uh, he stopped by the cigar shop by my house in Queens, where I lived at the time, and and we just talked. Now we smoked cigars and we talked. And in that conversation, Elliot Host gave me a tip that I used to make over ten thousand dollars the following month. He probably doesn't even remember he, he said it, right? But he gave me uh, a little a, a marketing tip, and I used it, and I made over ten thousand dollars in the next month and I was like yo that's crazy that's crazy if you want to know what the tip is I'll tell you later in this video but I couldn't believe it like that was the most money we had ever made we made ten thousand dollars the following month uh and, and I thought man if one conversation with this dude helps me get ten thousand dollars I wonder what it'd be like to get even more help and it's the same kind of thing I just told you like when you help people and they actually get value from the help when you help them for free then they're going to want more and then later on that summer, uh, there was an email from him. I, I was on his email list that he was doing an event in London where he was going to teach people how to start online fitness businesses. And I, and I couldn't believe it. Right. Uh, I couldn't believe he was doing it. And, and I, I couldn't believe it. I like this is fate or, or this is fate or the law of attraction or something like that. So uh, I actually texted him and I said, hey, man, can I come to the event? And he said, yeah, but you got to pay. <laughs> we weren't cool enough yet for that. And uh, I was like, all right. I guess I'll do it. The problem was it was $1,400, which is still a lot of money for me at the time. See, I was able to quit two of my jobs. I stopped, pers I stopped personal training, right? I was only personal training online. I stopped training people one-on-one. -on -one. And well, I had one client. I had one client, uh, this dude who played for the Lions, you know, and I just, I, kept, I worked with him. But for the most part, I, I quit personal training and I quit uh, the moving job, right? Which is the hardest work in the world hardest work in the world but working for a movement company in new york city because most of the places don't have elevators so imagine moving all this stuff up and down six-story walk-ups all day like that was my job and so i was just i trained like one client who's in the nfl and i was uh and i was still working on the weekends managing my friend's restaurant all right so i fourteen hundred dollars was a lot of money to me plus the plane ticket to london and accommodations this was you know so it ended up being like closer to to 2500 uh but you know I, I took the risk and i went down there and it was a three-day event now ellie doesn't do it anymore but i'll tell you how you can get a lot of information i learned at, at this session later in this video i went to that event and then i met one of ellie's business partners named magdalene and another one named dave rule and they just sat and taught me and like 12 other guys for three days they just taught us the whole game, the whole game, how they built Elliot's business because he was already making millions, you know, how you, they built his subscribers and his fans. And uh, and I took all the information I got from that event and I went back and started applying it to my supplement company, Pro Laboratories. And, you know, we started coming out with more courses. We started implementing the tactics that I learned at that three day event. And I want to teach you those tactics later in this video, right? Because so I want you to have, you know, uh, this is stuff I have to pay, you know, thousands of dollars for I'm gonna get to you for free. I took that and the, within the next few months, our income tripled, right? We were able to come out with more supplements. You see, we have a whole line now. Our business really started to blow up rapidly. And that's when I realized that, you know, it, it wasn't my fault that I wasn't successful at first. You see, I went to college. Like I have a marketing degree from one of the best business schools in America, they weren't teaching me stuff that was gonna make me rich. That was gonna make me build a million dollar business. They taught me how to be a good employee, right? And you know, and I learned a lot. I thought college was valuable, but I didn't learn the stuff I needed to accomplish my goal. And for those of you who wanna be entrepreneurs, who wanna get rich, the education system is, has kind of failed us. Cause like I said, I went to one of the best business schools in America and they didn't teach me anything about online business. They didn't teach me anything about entrepreneurship. It wasn't even a major for entrepreneurship. I majored in marketing in the school of business. 
you know there's not even there wasn't even a major right so it's hard to learn this stuff right you can't really learn it with a formal education you have to either do it all through trial and error or you have to have a mentor and i was fortunate enough to get mentorship from elliot host matt rule and dave galan that really helped me skyrocket my business now elliot only did that event once he only did that event in london once right and i don't think he, and they, they don't i think they did it once again in tampa but they don't do it anymore like you can't even get this information but i will help you get it in this video but i thought man if i can learn all this in three days and i triple my income what happens if i take it a step further so i actually talked to magaline and i started paying him fourteen hundred dollars a month to actually mentor me and like give me guidance in my business and that's when we started seeing rapid growth we took it to the next level right Every time I got on a call with him, it was one call a month for fourteen hundred dollars, right? But we had consistent growth every month, and I made back ten, twenty times my investment each month. Like we started blowing up. Now, that's where today I got proof finally for all the haters that you know we have a multi-million dollar business. Uh, I got ten employees. We have a big penthouse office here in Manhattan. I do speeches and seminars all around the world. I'm able to uh, connect with tons of influential people. Uh, authors, uh, we have. Uh, I have over two million fans online, and you know, life is good now. Life is good, but it took a lot of work, and it took thousands of dollars worth of training and mentorship. And now I'm fortunate enough to actually help other people build their own online fitness business. Uh, Cause this stuff doesn't just work for me, it's worked for tons of other people. Like one of my ex-employees, Harry Simones. Harry came to me, he wanted mentorship. And then, and so he started working for me for free. And in exchange, I gave him guidance on how to build his business, right? He was just starting, he's 20 years old, college dropout, living with his mother in London, but he was trying to start a clothing line for athletic guys. He called it the tailored athlete. We didn't have no sales, no money, and no setup. I helped him build his business from zero to now he's making over 50,000 American dollars per month. Check out a little bit of his story. Yo, what up, what up? It's your man, Big Brandon Carter. I am here with a very special guest, one of my star students. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my man, Harry. Uh, he, had, he had a good product, but he didn't know how to like make it. Like, how many money were you making at first? Uh, from Ted Athlete. Yeah, like when you first came, when we first talked, that first. That was free launch, then nothing. First call, yo, you just you were just about to launch it. I would read like one or two books, mm. but it was very beginner level. Um, well, I mean, I was only collecting like three email addresses a week. So then you you scheduled a call with me. Now fast forward today, how much money did you make last month? Uh, over fifty thousand US dollars. <laughs> yeah, show these. Can you show these things, man? Show, show, them, show them this shit, man. I know you, you, I know you bash, I got a man. screenshot. You got it, but like, yo, I would, I would print that out and frame it if I, if I stick on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, before we show this to me, remember how how old are you? I'm um, 20 years old. 20 years old. All right, he can't buy a drink here in America. All right, <laughs> but he can do this. Show him, show him. That's thirty nine thousand pounds, which is over fifty thousand US dollars. That's fifty thousand American dollars at age nineteen from not knowing nothing, right? Like, right. Yeah, like, yeah. I started when I was uh eighteen. Yeah, so to the, 19, 20, yeah. Now that's like this is, we, we started working together after that first call. Like you actually like interned for me for a while and you did you learn a lot there? Like when we and I was, I was coaching you while you were interning and helping you with some things. How, how did that help Like work, work, us working together? Yeah, that was the most beneficial. Mm -hmm. um, because I, again, I just wasn't aware of all this, like this part, yeah, <laughs> yeah. part of marketing business online. Like I knew people had made a load of money, mm -hmm. but I just didn't know how, right? Mm -hmm. So working with you, you'd show me things like strategies, methods, uh, online courses to take, and that just opens like yeah, the whole world up to me. So. Nice, nice, nice. And then now, you and now, yeah, the results are coming in. So. How much money is that in American dollars again? Over 50,000. 50,000 at age 20, man. See, Harry's story is a great example of tip number one for building your own online business. You have to narrow your market. He didn't try to make clothing for everyone. He didn't try to make every type of clothing. He specifically made clothing for guys who were into fitness, right? Because they had different proportions, different sizes. But he didn't try to make every type of clothes for them. He specifically made like nice clothes, like buttoned ups and stuff that so you can wear out, like tail tailored clothes. That's why he called it the tailored athlete. So that's tip number one: narrow your niche. 
when I first started, one of the mistakes I made, I tried to make fitness advice for everyone, right? I tried to make fitness advice for everyone. It wasn't really working. It wasn't until I, I started narrowing my niche and said, okay, now I'm gonna focus only on young guys, right? You know, like I started 18 to 25, now I'm transitioning because I'm older now, I'm transitioning to guys uh, 25 to 35, mostly guys, not women. I mean, my company's called Parole Laboratory, right? Now I still get women buyers and women fans, uh, but my message is catered to resonate with a certain audience, okay? That's a pro tip. You gotta resonate with a certain audience because if it's if you try to be everything to everyone, it won't be what? It won't be impactful. You get what I'm saying? There's a reason that a brain surgeon makes more than a general care uh, physician. It's because he specialized. And that's what you want to do with your business. You want to specialize. Right? And Harry did a great job of that, and that's one of the reasons why he's so successful. But that doesn't just work with guys. You know, Harry was marketing to the guys who are in shape, so was I. It works for women too. You just have to focus on them. For example, here's Deja Carreras, right? When I first met Deja, she was trying to build an online following and build her online business, but she couldn't really make it happen. She was working some job at, as a, like a hostess at some restaurant, and she, she was still living with her parents. She tried making her own courses and even her own clothing, and it just wasn't working. Nobody was buying and nobody was paying attention, right? And she almost didn't want to work with me because she thought I could only help guys, right? But, but once we started working together, we started crafting her message to make it so it only hit a specific audience, right? And, and really resonate with them. And her audience, the audience that we picked for her was skinny women who wanted to get curvier, who wanted like bigger butts or whatever. So we crafted all of her marketing material to resonate with that audience, all right? And in a short amount of time, she was able to build her YouTube page from almost zero to over 100,000 subscribers. Uh, she has, you know, she has tons of Instagram and Facebook fans as well. But more importantly, she was able to start putting out her own online courses, really, really building a business out of it. Fast forward now, she makes between five and seven thousand dollars per month, every month from her own online business and she started with nothing. Yo, yo, what up guys? I know a lot of you uh, wanna know how to start your own business, your own online business. Uh, Deja, 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 get on. I wanna show them uh, about the money you made in your online business over the last uh, four months. How much money you make? About, um, right under 13,000. $13,000, let's show them how you did it. You know, because uh, these they want to learn. Good man for they believe it, man. This was January. Mm -hmm. So this was my first launch. It was in between January and February. So this is 4:48, mm -hmm. and then February was 6:30. So it was around a thousand dollars for my first launch, my first mm -hmm. product ever. And then the second launch was my second product. It made about five thousand four hundred thirty-six. And then my last one. It was split into two software, so uh, two thousand nine hundred and thirty-two, mm -hmm. and then three thousand four hundred eighty-five. Mm -hmm. So together, it was about six thousand four hundred. And, and how? And how long? Uh, two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks. All right. All right. Bet. 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 So it was a total of how much? Right under thirteen thousand. Thirteen k. Thirteen k. Show them the products real quick. So this is the Build Your Booty Challenge. Oh. <laughs> All right, what happened? How'd that go? This was the one that made 5400 All right, bet. So it was like a 30-day bo uh, booty challenge. Nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a lean skull for those who want to lose body fat. This is the one, my first one, so it made about 1000 Last but not least, Curvy and 30. This is the one that made the most of the money. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, shit, Curvy and yeah. 30. These, so these are just challenges, and that one did how yeah. much? 6400 So you made almost $13,000. How, how has that uh, changed your life? How has that improved your life? Oh my gosh, I've been in debt for as long as I can remember and I was able to pay off all of my debt, pay off my car in two months. That's amazing, that's amazing. I know some of these people would like to pay off their debts or what, what, what would you do with an extra 13K? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, how'd you learn how to do it? You. Mm. Like I seriously had no mm. idea that you can make money off the internet. Like the fact that I was able to make two grand in one day the first day that you know i did the launch like how, where else can you make money like where else that can you make money like and that? i was just sitting in my bed in my pajamas in the pjs and then so like listen look man it's real out here and this is that's just the beginning you see every month it keeps going up for her mm -hmm. I don't the know. more i learn from you the better i'm gonna get you know 
and learn, you know. Now she's got me. She's got a coach, right? That's how she knows. She she knows what to do, and uh, you can't just throw shit up and expect me to buy like there's a system, and that uh, we have like protocols for that. And that's not a, that's not even accounting your affiliate sales. Oh no, yeah. You know, saying the money you get from like when you sell our products or other stuff, like it's been a lot more than that. Um, you just gotta know what you're doing, man. You just gotta know what you're doing, and and, and execute. And she has a coach. She's looking at a coach. Me, someone who did it, but I want to help you guys too. That's why I have uh, the Bro Labs Business Mastermind. You know, uh, we. What if you had to do this on your own? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. the first launch, I did about a thousand because I kind of just put things together. But then you started giving me some tips. Well, like I showed you how the launch was on the first. Yeah, one. Like of course. I gave yeah. You, yeah. Well, you know, then you started giving me some tips on things that can improve, and that's freaking quadrupled my yeah, yeah. Now, once you have your target market and you have the message that caters to what they want to accomplish okay now you have to have the right sales mechanism in place what i mean is how are you making your sales how are you converting fans or visitors into customers a great example of that is one of my students Partick Bassnet. Partick is only 17 years old now we met at one of the events i did in canada and he was trying to start his own online business Okay, and he didn't even know what kind of business he wanted to start. He had tried a bunch of stuff online. He had tried just he tried drop shipping that wasn't really working, and he spent a lot of time and money on it, and just he wasn't getting the results that he wanted. Uh, then he tried, you know, social media marketing, you know, trying to sell services to people like manage. Uh, manage people's social media accounts uh, that wasn't really working because he didn't have no proof that he could do it because he didn't have any social any big social media himself so it was difficult for him to convince people to pay him to do it for them when he didn't have it himself and he started to get frustrated he didn't really know if he had what it takes to start his own online business we met at an event I did in Toronto and we just started talking and I knew he was really into basketball right so I said why don't you start an athletic clothing line why don't you start a basketball apparel clothing line that's based off like you know people's favorite athletes or people's favorite basketball players and i showed him how he can set that up for free like almost no money and and get it done quick and then within the first month he made over five thousand dollars mind you he's only 17 years old 17 years old and he's got his own business making five thousand dollars a month and he spent no money to start. So before I started with working with Brandon, right, I, I always wanted to own a business and business was something I wanted to get into, but I didn't know what to do. Like, And then I went to one of his events, I think it was Renegade Summit. And from then I got introduced into this whole internet marketing world. And through that, you know, I learned what copywriting was, what's a funnel, you know, front and back end of the funnel, all that stuff. Brandon posted on his snap and talked about what's called print on demand. So what I did was I started a print on demand uh, store and now basically we're, you know, this is like three weeks so far making 4K, about to make 5K, maybe even more than that in a month. And been learning, you know, Facebook marketing, email marketing, copywriting from Brandon and that's really been helping me in my journey as well. In case you don't believe me, here are some of the results. We like started around here, we started running ads like around, you know, a week after November. It'll only be three weeks so far and we've done, uh, 3.8k about to hit 5k in a, you know in a month We're probably gonna run some get some more sales today and that is basically it is our visitors yeah but basically yeah that, this is the sales 3.8k in three weeks and these are vis visitors and the marketing learned from brandon so if you really think about working with brandon like you really should because he knows what he's talking about you know he, he cares about his customers he really wants to add value to you and you know before i started this whole shit i wasn't making any money but you know, not right now, about to make 5K in our first month with our new store. So the key to his success was actually having the right sales mechanism. Like how does he get the right kind of customers to his offers and then converting that, those visitors to actual customers, right? So one of the methods we used, he would pay influencers on social media for shout outs. He started to make a little bit of money from that. So I taught him how to use the money he made from those shout outs, and how to run Facebook ads to people who visited the page but didn't buy, right? You know, it's called retargeting, how to retarget that traffic and then get them to buy next time. And there's a bunch of techniques that we use to do that. And you know, I mean, that's what really blew up his business. Now he's, now he's 17 years old, still in high school, making $5,000 a month. And the same thing worked for one of my other clients, Dave Cusillo. 
I'm probably saying his name wrong uh, because it's hard to pronounce. They lived in Connecticut and I met him at one of my buddy Ty Lopez's speaking events in New York. Ty usually asked me to speak at his events, uh, you know, just to add value to his audience. So I spoke at the events and after that, after the event, and Dave asked me to coach him. He already had a successful online business. It wasn't in the fitness niche. He was doing something else selling information products. He wasn't in the fitness niche, but he was still successful. He was making about $50,000 per month from his online courses, teaching people how to buy and sell cell phones, you know, iPhones, Android phones on eBay. But the problem was he couldn't get past that ceiling at $50,000, right? He, his goal was to make $100,000. He tried he tried making his own YouTube page where he talked about how to flip phones on a YouTube page and that gave him some success. It got him some traffic, it got a little bit better, but it wasn't until we started working together that we kind of refined his sales system. And that's when things really started to take off. Dave is uh, one of one of my like, uh one-on-one -on -one co coaching clients, I don't have a whole lot, but can you tell them what, it, what it's been like uh, work since we've been working together and how that's help, been helping you with your online business? When I started with Brandon, I was doing about 50,000 months and that was in the beginning of August. It's only been, what, two and a half or three months, something mm -hmm. like that. And then we did two sessions and then last month we hit 67,000 for the month. So Yeah. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? 17, and that was all profit. That was 17,000 profit. How much profit? Uh, 17,000. Profit, man. Yeah. How has coaching helped you build your Just business? coaching in general? Level? Yeah. Well, you know, over the last two years I spent $85,000 on coaching. Mm. You know, I wouldn't be where I am if I wasn't. You can ask my wife where I was two years ago. We were, we were in my mother's basement. Uh, she, we were living with her alcoholic boyfriend. I got in a fight with him. Like it was, it was wow. pretty rough. And I don't know if I didn't have a coach or a mentor that I'd be doing what I'm doing today. Uh, when I when I talk to Brandon and I coach him, one of the things that I've learned spending all the money is, you know, if you're gonna hire a coach, hire, hire someone that cares about you. Mm. Don't hire someone that's just trying to sell coaching. We're, we're on pace to hit our goal, getting them to six six figures a month. Yeah, okay. pretty yeah, much halfway. I, I told him yeah. hundred thousand a month, and he asked, you know, like you know. Well, well, he asked me what I wanted. I said a hundred thousand a month. Yeah, like yeah, we're about we're about halfway there. I don't like doing math in public. Yeah, but yeah, we're about just we're about two sessions already. Yeah, from two sessions, we're like halfway there. Thank you so much, Dave. Oh, yeah. I appreciate Thanks, it. Man. Appreciate. Thanks for everything too. Now Dave is making over eighty thousand dollars a month, and we're really close to hitting his goal of a hundred thousand dollars a month. See, what we did with Dave was we took what he was doing right and like really just took it to the next level by leveraging his email list. So some people would go to his page and they wouldn't, not everybody's gonna buy on the first time. This is something you need to learn. So not everybody's gonna buy on the first time and that's okay, right? You don't wanna be a pushy salesperson. You wanna just give them value. We figured out a way where you can give visitors value up front. Okay, I've been saying this the whole time, give people value up front in exchange for the email. And then he would follow up with email with even more value, just keep giving value on the emails. And then and then what started to happen was more people started to buy because of the win. This guy's free stuff is helping me so much. Wonder what happens when I get the paid stuff. And that strategy worked really, really well for today. He's on course to hit his goal of $100,000 per month. Now, tip number three, I've alluded to this the entire video, uh, but it's probably the most important thing, is you wanna make sure you help people before you ask them uh, to buy something from you, right? You want to give before you ask to receive, all right? Because you, you actually can't make money, right? You can't, unless you're like the treasury or the mint or something, right? You can't make money, people have to give it to you, and they will only give it to you in exchange for a product or service that they think will be more valuable than the currency that they're exchanging for. All right, I hope that makes sense. Hope you're getting that. You understand what I'm saying? You're getting this? So it's, it's imperative that you give people value that's helpful. Now, don't give them BS. Make sure you give them helpful information. Uh, make sure you give them something that's helpful up front. And then once the free stuff helps them, it's gonna, just gonna be the natural thing where they're gonna want more. You know, they're gonna think, oh, this free stuff helped me so much. Imagine what the pay stuff is, right? It's 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 it's, it's basic, and it's just a good way to market. That way, you don't uh, come off all spammy and stuff. You know, a great example of that is my boy Connor Murphy. All right, Connor Murphy is a YouTube uh, fitness sensation, probably the biggest fitness YouTuber out right now. And when I met Connor, when I met Connor, he had close to a million YouTube subscribers, but he wasn't making the kind of money that he really wanted to make, right? Um, he was relying on YouTube ad money and sponsorships from certain companies that will remain nameless. He was relying on sponsorships from those companies to, to, to make a living. He was forced to parade their products on his social media like some whore just to make money. 
Connor wanted to come out with his own online course and he wanted to start his own clothing line instead of uh, promoting somebody else's stuff. He tried putting together websites and stuff together and he tried putting products together before, but it just wasn't really working out. You know, it just wasn't really working out and he wasn't able to make money off it, even though he had a huge fan base, which is crazy. Um, it wasn't until we started working together, he started to see success. We worked together to build his clothing line and to build his first online course that was all his own, teaching people how to get the physique that he has. But before we released it, before we put it out, before we even told people about it, we put together a free course to get to his fans, okay? Because Connor has more of a prank channel. Right, where he just does you know entertainment stuff. He takes his shirt off, girls go crazy, and and people like him for it. Those videos go viral, like crazy. I, I've almost never seen anything like it. But remember, people have to know you, like you, and trust you to buy from. You. So the his style of videos was helping them get to know him, and it helped a lot of people like him. But they didn't necessarily trust him enough to give him money, right? Because those videos weren't as helpful. So that was the purpose of the free course that talked about training and diet, right? And that way we can actually help them before we ask them for anything, okay? So his fans who were just watching this stuff because it was entertaining, right? Now he kind of was actually helping. And that completed the trifecta, right? Where now people know him, like him, and trust him. And shortly after that, we released his clothing line, Adonis. And within the first, the first 24 hours, Connor made over 30 thousand dollars all right and then shortly after that we released his first online course and within the first week kind of did close to two hundred thousand dollars yo what is up guys so i just want to give a big shout out to brandon carter he has been an amazing business partner you know and like an expert marketer he's helped me you know with the launch of my clothing line he's helped me like you know do all the marketing behind my you know uh workout programs and it, you know, it's so obvious it's going to be an amazing success. So if you guys are thinking of working with Brandon to help build your business, I highly recommend it because it has helped me so much. Now, these results aren't common because Connor already had a huge online following. So you might be thinking, will this work if I don't have a following? What if I don't have a following? Yes. Yes, it's fine. Uh, take, for example, one of my other clients, Steve Fernandez. Steve, before Steve started working with me, he was living in India. All right. He was living in India in his parents' house, working some job he hated. Steve was really good at teaching people how to pass the English exam that you have to take when you uh, immigrate to an English speaking country, right? He was like really good at teaching people how to do it. And he wanted to build an online course that taught people how to accomplish that goal. Problem was he didn't know how to put it together. He tried making a website. He tried like throwing stuff together online. and uh, it, just, it just wasn't working. He was spending money and kind of just wasting money and just throwing it away. Uh, it wasn't until he started working with me where we actually build what's called a sales funnel, right? Where we gave them stuff for free in exchange for email and then followed up with them on email with with offers for a more intense version of the program, right? Now, the key is that the free version was actually good. Like people got results with the free version. That's the thing. You don't want to like hold back. You want to give them the free stuff, right? And then a certain percentage of those people are going to want more. Same way I wanted more with Elliot. You know, it just works every time just like when you go to the grocery store uh and they give you those free samples they do that because a lot of people wind up buying a product after that i have not seen this not work right this works all the time so within a few short months of working with me steve went from zero to making five thousand dollars a month but remember he was living in india so he's making five thousand american dollars in india I assume it's like a trillion dollars, right? <laughs> and then we started working together more, you know, and a month after month, we just kept making improvements. And now he makes about $10,000 a month, you know, and more importantly, he was able to move to his dream location, uh, Sydney, Australia. That's where he lives now. He lives in Sydney, Australia, and he makes 100% of his money online. He lives next to the beach and he's chilling, you know? What up, big Brandon Carter? This is Steven here. I just wanted to do this quick video and thank you for all the success that I've seen over the last year and a half. And it's all been because of following your advice. I've been able to start my own business, quit my job. I've almost doubled my income this year. If you're trying to start your own online business, I want to help you get similar results. So I'll put together a free presentation. It's free. I right, click the link below or above or wherever it is when you're watching this. 
click that link right now all right and you'll get access to a free one hour presentation i did where i really break down how to build your online business in detail all right tell you everything you need to know to really build your online business and it's 100 percent for free you might be saying hey why are you giving this away for free well because i know a certain percentage of those people are going to want more help right it's the same thing like I'm, I'm actually doing it right and if you don't want more help that's cool man just really take the information that you get from this and, and apply it because it's it's a lot of information in that presentation i want you to check it out don't miss it out don't miss out on that i'm not going to leave it up forever right i'm not going to leave this up forever right so you want to make sure you check it out before it's taken down okay i hope this was helpful if you found it helpful please leave a comment hit the like button share it with your friends anyway and, and tag anyone who you think may benefit from this information uh again thanks a lot appreciate it oh i want to thank y'all man like the fans like the fans y'all help me get this man y'all help me get this it's y'all so thank you so much and go check out the video all right